Hi all, my name is Leah. I'm a PhD student over at the University of Minnesota, and today I'll be presenting personal org policy, how policy is wielded in mental health discussions. So like I said, today I'm going to be focused on policy tensions in mental health deliberation on Wikipedia, and I'm interested in opening up discussion about the Wikipedia ideologies that underpin mental health discourse, any interesting data sources we might be missing here, and any design recommendations based on our preliminary results. This is ongoing work. So online mental health support is a clinical and personal experience. We know from previous work that clinical online mental health information has a lot of benefits like mental health literacy, symptomatology, and a pathway to care. However, it excludes those that don't meet clinical definitions. And this is really important in mental illness and mental health where everyone can experience it very differently. Meanwhile, kind of personal experience sharing encourages community and deep descriptions of experiences. It's also a pathway to care, but it gives weight to misinformation because it is very based on anecdotal information. Now, Wikipedia specifically has a suite of policies dedicated to medical information, things like MedRS and MedMoss, and this includes articles about mental health. And articles are held to very high standards of objectivity. This is called a neutral point of view or NPOV. But talk pages, the venues where we discuss and deliberate what goes into articles, are not held to those same standards because they're supposed to be open forums. Now, my question here is, does this ecosystem help create balance between clinical and personal mental health information? Specifically, how are objective and subjective devices wielded within a deliberation arc? So to define our terms here, objective devices don't vary by individual. So there are things like Wikipedia policy, the manual of style, guidelines, and pillars. Meanwhile, subjective devices are things like personal experience and personal motive. Now here, a deliberation arc is the process of reconciling difference and moving towards consensus. So deliberation arcs happen over and over again on Wikipedia because Wikipedia is built edit by edit, line by line. And these deliberation arcs typically have a large story to them of setup, conflict, and resolution. This is called the meta narrative. Now, to create a set of mental health-related articles on Wikipedia, we want to include articles related to clinical and colloquial discussions of mental health, such as major depressive disorder and also depression as a mood. So we started with 72 seed articles from the list of mental disorders. We gathered all linked from articles and then hand-coded the relevance of those with consult from mental health experts. This led us to a set of 144 mental health-related articles. Now to analyze these articles, we're using a mixed methods approach. Quantitatively, we want to really have a descriptive analysis of what these talk page deliberations look like, particularly in terms of like policy density by user. So who's invoking what and when. Now, qualitatively, we're using trace ethnography methods of talk page deliberations from three articles. Now, this involves identifying those key acts I mentioned of setup, conflict, and resolution. Note that while we're mainly focused on talk pages, the resolution can happen on an article, such as an editor completely leaving the landscape or an article change being approved. And that's what really makes this a trace ethnography is we're not limited to exclusively those talk page documents. We also open code for those subjective devices, such as personal experience or information, and those objective devices, such as reasoning around policy or guidelines. Now to present some preliminary results from the schizophrenia talk page, um, in this chart, each bar is a user. We just removed the usernames from the X axis for anonymity. And then on the Y axis, we have the number of policy invocations log scaled to really show how um, spread this is. So user one all the way on the left invoked 87 policies. Meanwhile, users two and three invoked less than 20. 
And what this drastic spread indicates is that this idea of Wikipedia power users, which is typically attributed to a person's editing behavior, applies to policy use during deliberation. So we find that certain individuals will invoke policy exponentially more than other Wikipedians. We also find evidence of those subjective devices, so personal motivations leading to article change. So for example, this Wikipedian said, I've researched an experiment with a treatment for myself and I have schizophrenia. This was reasoning behind their call to add certain information about a treatment to the article. Eventually, they did find citations that met the Wikipedia standards, and so were able to get that article change approved. However, again, their reasoning for it was very personal. We also find those objective devices where people refer back to guidelines, pillars, or just general ideologies a lot. This is a collective motive, so it's about Wikipedia's mission. This user said, it's not our goal here to save the world by spreading the word about the latest new thing, however wonderful it is. And then finally, we have evidence of kind of this toxic assigned motive. So for example, during a conflict, one Wikipedian added another and said at editor who doesn't seem to understand how to read a talk page or to have read and then this Wikipedia policy, which is bold, revert, discuss. And it's a general best practice for how to engage on Wikipedia. So our anticipated contribution here is that subjective devices influence article topics, but then objective devices maintain article quality. Both are used as a means towards conflict resolution. And so the open question here is, can we have our cake and eat it too? Can we hold space for personal narrative while also building a highly credible encyclopedia? Thank you so much. and I'll be around if you have any questions.